back at DEF CON 26, and I'm actually joined by El Kintaro, who's my hacker friend from Tokyo. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine. I'll switch to English for the audience. So. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We should probably both switch to yeah, English probably, for the audience. Probably, probably. <laughs> or or our, our conversation will go nowhere. But, uh, <laughs> that's very true. We'll just start drinking beers yeah, and never yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, the technology. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, we do drink a lot of beer in Tokyo together, but we also talk Not anymore, about... I'm sober, but okay. Oh, well, congratulations. It's fine. But we also do a lot of talks about technology as well, because El Cantaro has done some amazing hacks with not only Hack5 products, but other products as well, like, you know, the Raspberry Pi and different monitors and all sorts of different systems. So what have you created for us today? Because you just built this, right? Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> This was really close. I was almost didn't make it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, about six months ago, I think, yeah. I, I contacted you and said, "I like to build these kind of rigs, the yeah. custom cases." So I asked, asked you to ship me all the products that you have. So this is Hack Five on the go. On, so, it's like the carryout version. Yeah. So <laughs> it, the core is a Raspberry Pi three. Yeah. Um, that has a foldable screen on it, but I don't know if you have to tilt it. But there's a oh. Keep. I'll help you. Oh, hey, it's, <laughs> it's internet celebrity Johnny Long. <laughs> There's a foldable keyboard here that it acts as a lid oh, okay. so that you can have all the bass bunnies and the land turtles and everything. So what do you have underneath there? And Johnny Long, thank you for being the uh, showman. Man, I, Johnny Long <laughs> being my assistant, that is awesome, I brother. I everything this man says. So, love you, buddy. Uh, thank Apparently, you, buddy. the segment turned into a party. Buddy, so, yes. welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, it has the uh, has the Ethernet up, the LAN turtle, uh, extra extra wireless adapter. That's awesome. Cables, <laughs> network, adapter. and then so this is the this is the smaller stuff that you guys build, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing that I had to do is because every gear that you guys make is black. Yeah. I had to put like a high vis orange There's in the bottom. There's orange down there. So that it contrasts. We'll get some close-ups too right. of that. Packet squirrel, right? So. Oh, it's so um, cute. It's my and favorite. it falls like it has a like lid. Now yeah. glitch, you know glitch tech. Yeah. He has helped me learn the ma as mar uh, art of 3D printing. Oh. So the bottom part is all 3D printed case. Thanks awesome. to this. So you had it custom made for this these I, dimensions? I designed and printed it wow. thanks to Glitch teaching me how to do this. That's so cool. So this is a community effort in that way, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's not just me, right? Now question, you're also all about like open sourcing yep. the, the different materials and like the yep. 3D prints and yep. everything too, right? So do you have this design available online for other people to build? Not, not yet, because I want it to be a secret until I relieve, uh, you know, rebuild yeah, it here. Boy. <laughs> but after after this, I go back. Okay. I'm releasing everything. That's awesome. So, so okay. um, I'm releasing the case dimensions, the individual components, how yeah. to put them together. Okay. So I'm um, doing that. So, so on the side, you have everything powered by a USB through an aux key, right? Yeah, a yeah, USB yeah. hub. Yeah, they don't make this hub anymore oh. apparently, but okay. it, well, they I, do sell similar ones yeah. to Anchor. I know yeah. that for sure. So if you have a powerful uh, hub, the key to build it to to do custom rigs and to keep one cable is try to power as much as you can from the USB hub mm, yeah. and not like direct different power cables. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's my thing kind of thing. And this is a, this is a, this is what you, you're used to. It's called a magic arm. Yeah. It's camera gear. Oh, that's camera right? gear. So on the back, there's a nano. Oh my gosh, right? that's so funny. So, and I had to print the back plate, but. So you 3D printed a back, yeah. like a mount. Yeah. You got it Velcroed on there mm -hmm. with a little strip. Right. And you have both of the, so those are the default antennas. Yeah. And you're just logged into the uh, the CLI interface, it looks like. Yeah. That's awesome. And then when, when, when you're done, you can just fold these up and. Oh, it perfect. Kind of it sits, fits wonderfully right, down it there. sits in there. Now, you know, this, the tag is here, so. Of course. I did travel with this internationally. It wow. didn't make it, so. That's awesome. So that's that's the that's the nano and the smaller stuff. Okay. So and then I have a, another one. So when I was on work, sometimes, you know, yeah. I want to just grab the Tetra, right? Yeah. And then, but I don't want this case because I want the, all the other stuff, right? You want it to be a little right. discreet. Right, so that's, this is the Tetra to go. Okay. Which is a smaller version of this basically, right? So, Ooh. this is a battery adapter, yeah. power adapter, some cables, but you can see the pineapple Tetra sitting in the case. Oh, that's cool. And then it folds out. Okay. Wait, 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 these antennas are different. Yeah. What are these? Uh, these They're are like little panels. Yeah, these are five, uh, eight, eight DBI flat antennas. 
oh, that I found. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, the reason why I chose these is they fold really nicely to each other. Yeah, so. they do. And then um, I, I probably voided the warrant warranty, <laughs> but I opened it up and I moved the antenna post to the top. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. And then um, we'll forgive yeah, you. Yeah. So this is a three, and this is also three D printed battery holder. You did void the warranty, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I figured. But um, and you cut out a little hole for it on the side. Yeah. So, you so can I, access I can access this, that's and then when cool. I'm done, I can fold this up. Throw the cables in, yeah. close it, grab it by the hand and go. Oh, that's so perfect. These cases yeah. are GoPro cases. Oh, they are? <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, they are, oh, no, they're not GoPro. They're action camera cases. This is like the hacker ethos right here. Yeah. So um, if you find the one with the soft, uh, hard, this is weird, hard foam, yeah. you can actually cut it really easy and it'll slide it. Okay, cool. So, But I'm releasing everything. So So is, is there anything that else that goes into the, here that we haven't covered yet? No. Yeah, I think I that was think, everything. You got no. a Raspberry Pi right yeah. there. I got a Raspberry Pi 3 powering the whole thing. Okay, that's seven fine. inch, seven inch uh, wave shift screen. This got screen it. is great because it can power it off the USB because the power control is on the board of the LCD. Oh, that's great. So that's awesome. Yeah, you don't need a separate power supply for these. So no. One of the real reasons I wanted to have you on today yeah. is because you also are one of the big community members in Japan, too. I just have been around very long. <laughs> yeah, which is, we've never gotten a chance to talk right. about the hacker community that's happening overseas <coughs> in Japan, too. So I wanted to just get a little bit of information about you about what's happening over there for our Japanese members of the community. Right, so um, the hacker history in Japan has a turbulent history. Really? Yeah, prior to year 2000, there was pretty actually a vibrant community. Yeah. Then we had an incident. An incident. Yes. Um, I'm. I'm not going to talk about it. You can look it up. It's. Okay. A, it's. It's eighty two thousand X. Um, which then drove everybody underground. Ah, oh, I see. And then we, for a long time, yeah. we didn't have any um, activities. I used to run. Believe it or not, Black Hat used to happen in Tokyo, 13, 14 years ago. Wow. Uh, but we couldn't fill a room that was 200, 300 people. Yeah. It was like maybe 150, 200 people uh, with the vend vendors. So yeah. um, there really wasn't a security community, okay. but there were always hackers. Yeah. Japan, always. Japan has a really long history of hackers, um, but not on the computer level, maybe, but on the radio frequency, ham radios, uh, you know, cell phone radios. Yeah, of course. Um, so, but all of that ha was really happening underground. We had nowhere of sharing that. Then a couple of people got together and they would come out to Vegas and started AV Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Hence the AV, not the adult video yeah. AV. It's well, I see AV and I'm like, audio video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But everybody has their own, but it's actually after Vegas. After Vegas. So oh, a bunch no. of Japanese hackers would get together after Vegas yeah. and share what they had picked up at DEF CON with the local community who couldn't go. Yeah. And that grew into a party and that's now about two, three hundred. Oh, wow, yeah. that's awesome. Um, that's truly like the DEF CON of yeah. Japan. Yeah. Which was good, but at the same time, we couldn't get the security mature mm. on the corporate side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we needed a conference that was... Something similar to Black Hat. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's why we started Code Blue. Kana, my yeah. uh, co-organizer, she started... Uh, because everybody kept coming to us saying, you should start a con. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not interested. And Kana said, finally stepped up. Like girl power, and I guess. I was like, I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I was, I was on the fence about it. I was yeah. like, I'm not doing it. But she started it, and uh, and we've been successful, growing every year. Uh, last year, I think we had 1,400 attendees. Wow. Um, we ran out of space this Whoa. year. <laughs> we're doing it again, Halloween. So if you want to come to Halloween in Tokyo, oh, I totally yeah, want to. Code blue. Uh, you can actually have the company pay to have you enjoy Halloween in, in Tokyo. I mean, that's a company it's a hack, great right? Excuse to cosplay, right? Job hack, I guess. <laughs> it's a job hack, totally. Uh, but no, <laughs> the unique thing is, that, so we have Code Blue, AV Tokyo, PacSec, which is Cansec West. Oh. Um, it's a very technical conference. Cool. Uh, Drag uh, Dragos runs it. Okay. And then we, B sides Tokyo is starting up this year. Awesome. Um, so we have, and the, all of these conferences happen in like a three or four week time span. Wow. Uh, that's Infosec, so great. November, October. So. Um, you know, you can pick and choose depending on what it is that you do. Yeah. Um, Code Blue, we have four different tracks this year. We have uh, general, mm -hmm. uh, technical, uh, blockchain, law and policy. Oh, wow. And the reason why we added law and policy this year is because 2020, the Olympics is coming up. Oh, yeah. And there's That's a lot a of talk point. about integrate, uh, you know, uh, oh, 
Critical infrastructure. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, set just broke. <laughs> Critical infrastructure building. Uh, <laughs> but there's not much discussion around the policy of critical yeah. infrastructure protection. True, true. So we wanted to bring that in. Um, That's that, awesome. Yeah. So it's well, I think you're doing excellent work over there, and it's amazing to see a, a community grow so much in such a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Out of something that barely anybody knew existed. So it's really great to see what you're doing. I really applaud you and commend you for everything that you've been doing. For I had nothing to do with it. I mean, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, yes, you did. I just hanged around long enough. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh you're, you help organize. You get everybody motivated about it. You come out here and you spread the good word yeah. too. You're like the gospel. I guess I'm the Jason Street of Japan. You are the Jason Street of Japan. Do you give off words, hugs too? I, I will, anybody who wants one, I'll cool. give one. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Thanks, El Kintaro. <laughs> Well, where can people find out more about what you are doing and your different builds, right. uh, as well as what's happening in the Japanese community? So, um, me, El Kentaro, E. El Kentaro, okay. on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put those links in the show notes. Yeah. I got rid of Facebook. It was too much drama for me. I understand uh, that. <laughs> uh, my conference is Code Blue, so it's codeblue.jp, okay. which, um, you know, hit it up. Uh, AV Tokyo is avtokyo.org. Okay. PAXIC is PAXICJP. B size Tokyo, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. But. That's okay. I'll find it online. I'll Google it. Now, I speak English. Can I still go? Yeah. So, Code Blue, we have simultaneous translation for English, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, depending on the speaker. Wow. So, that's awesome. Uh, that's good to hear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, all the talks will simultaneously translate it. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, the, old, the previous conference videos are up on YouTube okay. on the Code Blue channel. So. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much, El Kentaro, for coming. Thank out. you very much. Awkward hug. Awkward hug. Yay. Jason, I stole your gig. Yay. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much, El Kentaro. It was amazing to have you on the channel finally after all these years of knowing you yeah. and going to Japan. It's about time. So if you want me to go to Japan and cover any of the Japanese InfoSec community and hacking community conventions or events, let me know in the comments below. Buy the gear so she can come over. It would be a great excuse to go to Japan, so I'm all about that. And definitely hit up youtube.com slash hack5 and hack5.org for more coverage from DEF CON. Again, I'm Shannon Morse, and trust your technolist. Bye-bye. Domain.com has all your website needs, from .com and .net domains to intuitive website builders so you can take that first step in creating your online identity. Let me tell you, there's no domain extension like a .com or a .net, or if you want to brand yourself, Domain.com has over 300 domain extensions like .club and .space. These guys are huge fans of Hack5, they're affordable, reliable, we've been using them for years, they've got all the tools you need to share your ideas with the world, and because they're such big fans, they are hooking you up with 15% off their already affordable prices. So get domain names and web hosting and email, and just be sure to use that coupon code HAK5. So when you think domain names, think domain.com.